You're watching KPVI News at 5. KPVI News at 5. News that works for you. Conversation with candidates continues today. We have an individual who's running for Pocatello City Council. James Bucci is running for seat number one. Thank you for joining us today. So James, tell us a little bit about yourself and what was the decision-making process in saying, I'm going to run for city council? All right. Um, first off, I'm a father and today's actually my son's 18th birthday. So oh, happy wow. birthday, Michael. I love you to death. Michael, <laughs> happy birthday. Right on. All right. Um, and that is essentially why I ran because it seems that all these problems keep building up, building up, and we're throwing them onto our children, and it's just not acceptable. Now, about me, I'm from Massachusetts, obviously. Go Red Sox. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> yeah. New York Yankees fan, so that's okay. <laughs> Indeed. All right. And um, from there, I ended up joining the Marine Corps, was in North Carolina, and I've kind of traveled the country. I've been everywhere, so I think I have a unique view on how we can make changes, what works in some places, what works, what doesn't work. God knows this rampant buildup is not working, especially in the housing market. Okay, so tell us what you see is the biggest issue that Pocatello faces right now. The biggest issue is housing costs, all right. Um, my rent has gone up almost a third in under four years, and luckily I can handle it, but there are a lot of working families out there that are having a lot of problems. When I'm knocking on doors, this is what they're talking about. And now, we, to change this, we need to go look, relook at our zoning laws. Um, November 2nd, City Hall is going to hold a discussion on that. If you want to go, I recommend you go. I will be going, too. Um, but it's going to take more than that. We may actually have to just invest as a city into the, some housing, actually put our money into it, because the only way to lower housing costs is kind of flood the market so we can get it all lower. With more housing, we'll have a, the burden on all the property taxes will be spread out also. So it'll help in that front, too. Um, and the developers, we need to start forcing them to make better housing. I know Neighborhood Works is working on affordable housing, but if you look at the houses, it's, they're talking $300,000 per house. About 50% of this, um, the city, they make like 35,000 or less, according to the Bureau of St Statistics and Labor, all right? And that's if you're working eight hours a day, five days a week, four weeks a month, 12 months a year. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people aren't. We know they cut, they cut hours in a lot of places. Like I worked at Albertsons, they'll cut hours to make the profits look good. And it's just not right, we need to fix that. So what do you see as far as like the financial health of the city of Pocatello? Do you think city's doing okay? Are there things that you would spur to help increase the financial health of the city? Um, it's doing better than when I first came here because you can tell like downtown, the shops are actually, they have some staying power. They're not just opening and shutting down. That was a big issue when I first got here. They, they just did open a shop and a few months later they'd shut down and there were a lot more empty fronts. So the city is, they're doing good economically now, but the problem is people don't have the disposable income to go spend it downtown, you know, at your enchantments and Carpenter and Walrus mm -hmm. and such. And so that's, it's kind of hard as a city fix because the state, they put the kibosh on cities actually making their own minimum wage and like that's what we need we need a higher minimum wage for these people so they can have more income all right all right james thank you for joining us today the election is coming up on tuesday november 7th we want everybody to get out and vote thank you for joining us today